some friends. Hey, here's some friends, and they look prepared. So we are going to have the breakfast edition of the vegan cooking challenge. Let's see what we're gonna make. So here is our first team, the Narwhals. Tell us about yourselves. I'm Edith. I'm Cass. And we are experts at not burning food. And here we have the Rubik's Cubers. Tell us about yourselves. I'm Mitch. I'm Susan. And we've never done Rubik's Cubes in our life. Woo! And I, by myself, am the third team of Ill. So what we are going to do, first part of the vegan breakfast challenge, is to make vegan waffles. So what we're going to do, this team right here, they're making blueberry waffles. I am making chocolate chip waffles. And these guys are making plain waffles. And we are going to find a judge somewhere and see who won afterwards. Let's get started. I was right, spilled it immediately. <laughs> I think I'm the first one done. Woo! I think we're the second. Oh, well. <laughs> Part of the challenge is to see if you do it right. <laughs> Alright, so while oh these God. two teams, or actually these guys are done, yeah? It's just us. <laughs> So we're waiting, we're waiting on these guys. What we're gonna go ahead and do is pull out the waffle machine and, I mean waffle maker, you guys know what I mean. Whatever it's called, we're getting it out and I'm gonna have a close up on the cooking of that. All right, before things get ugly in this kitchen, we are going to cook our waffles in this waffle maker. It is heated up, and part of the challenge is seeing who is the cleanest with pouring their batter. So let's see how that turns out. We were not informed on. All right, so up first are the narwhals. Oh God. Oh. All right. How do we, we open can do it? it. <laughs> it is heavy. I thought I knew. This is going great so far. Um, I felt like I needed to intervene or else the counters would be full of batter. So, so we lost points. That's what you're saying. <laughs> we just lost the challenge. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to set that for And this is how it turned out because I forgot about putting oil on it, so that's, <coughs> that's on me. But I helped them put it on in the first place, so I feel like it evens out. Yay, we didn't lose points. 
So yeah, I'm giving them some grace points since I messed up, but look at that. Can we eat it now? It's kind of pretty. Yes. <laughs> Come here, Waffle. <laughs> no. They're oh, having some difficulties. Thing, waffle, I ever did see. I know, should we be good so sportsmen or should we not? We should. Mm. Before I turn 80. <laughs> Shut up, you went later. Shut up, you're I thought we were making waffles. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, we were making art, Sarah. Art? Oh, God. Okay, well, you wouldn't know about that, would you? No. All right, so we found someone off the street, and he is going to be our waffle judge. How are you today, sir? I'm pretty So, what makes you qualified to be a waffle judge? I don't know. Very good. All right, so here is our first waffle. It is a mixture of blueberries, uh, pecans, walnuts. Girls, tell us about your waffle. There's some chocolate chips in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty much it. <laughs> some of it's still left in the waffle. Yeah. All right, so, sir, if you can proceed with the waffle tasting and judging. Your hair's really nice. I'm taking the chain test. <laughs> it tastes really good, I promise. <laughs> I give it a six because I did taste, I did taste the sweetness but it was a little strong with, it had a strong effect to it with the blueberry. Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so now the Rubik's Cubers are going to pour their batter and we're going to see how that turns out. This time we did put some oil on it, so hopefully it won't stick. If it does, then this time I will take points off. Let's begin. Excellent technique. A little bit more. That's good. Here we go. And we are putting three minutes on the timer. And now the waffles are done, so let's see how they do. Beautiful. Oh, there's a remnant of a blueberry in there. That's not a burnt spot, that's a blueberry. No, I think it's pretty darn burnt. It, I can smell it from here. That is a blueberry. Oh, <laughs> well, that edge is a little crispy there. I'm not sure about that. They're, be they're very golden. <laughs> All right, Judge, so these are supposed to be plain waffles, but as you can see, there is a blueberry in it. I suggest taking a plain corner so that you can judge it properly. You ready? Yes, I am. All right. It's golden. Can you, like it. can you taste the golden? I can. What do you rate it, sir? Six and three quarters. Woo! <laughs> All right, so now, as the solo team Avil, I'm going to pour my batter, which is uh, chocolate chip waffles, or yeah. Mm. And three minutes is going on the timer, and as you can see, I'm already losing points because it is going out of the waffle maker. That's okay. All right, so I'm on this side of the camera now. I'm going to get the waffle out, and we'll see how it turned out. As you guys can see, it got really messy. So obviously, I lost in that department. 
Not bad. It's you guys may not be able to see it, but it's stuck on the top instead of the bottom. So no, I don't have invisible waffles. And let's see. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of messy, but it still looks pretty good. So let's call in the judge one more time. Hello, sir. Nice to be on the side of the camera with you. All right, here I have a chocolate chip waffle. I'd like you to try it and let me know what you think. I've always been a fan of chocolate. What do you think, sir? Six. Six out of ten? Yes, because I don't really taste the chocolate. I taste more of a plain waffle. Ah, I respect your decision, sir. Thank you. Have fun on the street. <laughs> ah, blah. I'll be meeting some hobos on the way. So that was the vegan waffle challenge. How about we take a pause and everyone will meet me back on this side of the camera. All right, so that was the vegan waffle challenge and... Oh, we did it. Woo! And these guys won with six and three fourths. We got six. So it shows that plain waffles aren't that boring. They're actually pretty cool. They're winners. So help me decide on a few things for the next vegan breakfast challenge. All right, I am back with our street friend. Come here, street friend. Thank you again for being our judge. And until next time, stay sharp, my friends.